So today was one of our uh, hopefully, hopefully uh, successful shop days. The, one of the objectives was we had some work to do on Lauren's bike. We had work to do on Glenn's bike, work to do on Luciano's bike. So we started off with, first off to do was uh, we wanted to get Luciano's fairings repainted. Now this is, these parts were damaged on track day with an unfortunate little baby accident. But we figured as long as we're taking them apart, we do all the body work and make these parts like brand new for Luciano. And I know he'll appreciate because this is one of his favorite bikes. What am I talking about? Every one of his bikes is his favorite bike. But anyway, we found out early in the day that uh, Lauren was not going to be able to make it today. She was sick. So we pulled a little scam on her, which you'll see at the end of this video. Anyway, I'm looking at some of the, some of the damage. These were from previous things that had cracks, repairs. You can see this whole area here has been repaired. I know the bike has been repainted at least once. Um, and again, this was one of the things that I had touched up and it was just a temporary thing. But we knew come winter time we'd be doing a real, a, a real repaint on it. Glenn got some really good matching Ducati paint from one of his friends. And here's tip number one and this is important since this bike's already been repainted using a hairdryer and warming up the stickers before you pull them off is important the reason being when a bike has been repainted if it hasn't been really roughed up you can pull a clear right up you can like a piece of saran wrap coming off I've seen that happen to several several people who have painted over something that's not prepped up by roughing it up enough Anyway, another little thing we wanted to correct is the decals. The new decals that Glenn got were a little bit different than the ones on the bike, so we decided what we do is do both sides. Pull the two fairings apart and do the two lowers. And it looked like on the initial test when Glenn brought the paint here that it was going to be a pretty good match. Well, the first thing was uh, there's really a lot of grease, oil, whatever, that has to come off the part. And I find, uh, you know, having the spray bottle of um, Simple Green is just one good way of doing it. Any, any good soap will do it. Uh, any, any real cleaning product will do it. But the step one, the way I've always done these, and it seems to be a little successful for me anyway, I like to take a big pan of water with some soapy water and some Brillo. The Brillo allows it to get inside in all these little nooks and crannies and get around things and get basically just trying to get the grease off. Then a brand new Brillo pad, do the other side or SOS pad, that it scuffs it up a little bit, not the final scuffing, but it gets off the layers and layers of wax or accumulated grit or in this case, the edges here that face forward right under the tire take a beating, all sport bikes. And, and this had a crack here that had already been reinforced once and it had cracked again. So we double reinforced it this time with some carbon fiber. This part had to be re-sanded down by hand and it really took me a long time because it's a real complex curve to get that right. Now one of the good tricks and because Glenn was trying to pick up on some of these little tricks, uh, Jose was going to stop by and he's a good painter. Um, and we expected Luciano and a, among other and the Jot to come over. And the Brodac Thin CA goes into these cracks and hardens them up. So it makes the ultimate bodywork just a little bit stronger. And anywhere there's a crack, I use this reinforcing carbon fiber, unidirectional carbon fiber. And right here you can see the crack and I made a little, a little brace for that. Small detail, this is on the bottom of the bike, but I just think as long as you're doing all this work, you may as well just do it. Glenn got there just in time to uh, help with some of the sanding. And he did some of the sanding, I did some of the sanding, but we, we got the first part prepped because I wanted him to practice some of the sanding of the way the body work was. And he know, he pretty much knows from all the work he's already done already what it takes to prep the part. and. 
if you look at his wheels now, Lauren and Chris did a lot of sanding on his wheels, but he did some too. We'll give him a little credit. And he had to work on his clutch. Now he's got a dragging clutch, and I know what he did. He called Nick. Nick said the Barnett clutch has, is, and there was an extra little ring in it, actually two rings, that he took out. And we're going to see how that works later in the day. Luciano came just in time. When he took his balaclava off, I think half of his ear came off too. But as always now, and Ray showed up. So what's really nice about a day like this that I think is great is we all, we didn't have that much work to do today, but we really wanted to just have some good times. And it was a beautiful day. Turned out to be a really nice day, in fact. And having all the Ducatis in the driveway and... Uh, we expected the jot to come somewhere in the part in the course of the day. Um, I had gotten the paint. This is the paint that Glenn's friend in the body shop custom mixed for us. It looks like it's going to be a real good match. We don't know again until we put the clear on. And our objective today was just to get the body work done and get the yellow done. And I really wanted to go back because I wanted to show Najat that you don't need a $100 spray gun. These, these guns are $9 in Harbor Freight. And they work fine and they work for years before you need to replace them. So uh, whatever that's worth. Now, th this is the part with all the stickers removed. The upper part. We're just going to put that aside. Now the upper part because it's been repainted. The upper part had clear on the, the numbers, so we're not going to really redo that. We'll just rebuff it out with the buffing wheel. But I didn't want to have the upper numbers to have clear on them, and the lower numbers, the lower, these, these are the decals, not have clear on it. I just thought, you know, if we're going to do this, and Glenn agreed, we're going to do it as the, hopefully the best we can. And when Najat got there, and Najat, this is the first time he's been to the shop, so he was kind of excited about, uh, well, he wants to do some sanding and some cleaning, and he's got a track bike to paint, among other things. So we kind of turned it into a semi-social day. This is his Triumph. And he, by the way, for anybody who knows, he's got a, two Ducatis, but he loves his Triumph. Now he brought us some nice, and Lauren, by the way, we gave you a hard time at the end of this video, but, you know, if you get sick, don't bother bringing it to us. We already got whatever we have, mental and mental illness. Anyway, he did a nice photo shoot here, and he took some pictures, some really nice pictures here. These are, I don't know, 8 by 10s maybe or whatever they are. They're really super high quality, and we're going to hopefully get him to take some more pictures. He's a really good photographer, and these are pictures he took of, he took the day that uh, we had Larry's little ceremony, and graciously brought us all copies. Uh, there's some for Glenn here, there's some for me, some for Luciano. But now because Najat had never been to the shop before, we gave him the usual, the five cent tour of uh, the murderer's row lineup of bikes here. The bikes that couldn't shoot straight. Anyway, and the other thing was, Glenn was already busy doing some final sanding, and he was going to give Najat a little, uh, well, just show them how we prepare the parts that we paint. Karen made us a nice, she made actually banana muffins for everybody and uh, by the end of the day, believe me, none of them went to waste. And I just think the way the weather played out today, it was a perfect day for putting on the color paint. It was a great day to uh, making some new friends. A great day for Glenn, he got his clutch hopefully sorted out. Although, you know, I, and I never really can understand this, when everybody I know that ever bought a Ducati always has clutch issues. I don't know why that is. It doesn't matter what model they have. They always get them sorted out, but it, I, I just don't, I don't know if it's that they all buy the wrong thing or they, maybe Glenn's drag racing and I don't know it. I don't know about these clutches things though. But, but anyway, it, what's nice is everybody helps everybody else here. Luciano was going to, uh, he drove his 999 down, and that's by far his favorite of his Ducatis. Jose came by with a, now look at his box of donuts. You would figure it. He bought a, a two dozen donuts. And I, I'm not sure. We, 
looking at those donuts. It looks like this is the donut delivery van here. <laughs> anyway, he's got his new 1000 cc V-Strom. He has two 650s, and he really does love the V-Strom, and I have to say, he really does ride it well. And I was wondering, you know, like, uh, Glenn, of course, has two Ducatis, and uh, Najat has two. I, we're back to the same old scenario. I'm the only one in the world doesn't own a Ducati. So maybe there's some, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. I don't have a Ducati thing, but uh, anyway, it's all beside the point anyway. But I know who had a donut. <laughs> More than one donut, maybe. Maybe the whole box. Anyway, we were looking at some of the things that Glenn had done on his bike, the wheels, the hugger, all the body work. There's all his body work on the other side has been painted. And giving the Jot some, yeah, just some ideas of things he can do now. He's basically going to paint his track bike over the winter here, hopefully, and bring some of the parts over. He's also got real good computer skills and graphic design, so he's going to try to design us something. We don't know what. Maybe a uh, some logos for our race bikes or whatever. I'm not sure. Glenn had another one of his friends stop by, and at some point in the afternoon, I think we had eight, nine people there, and everybody found something that they could uh, contribute to the party. Now, Jose is an accomplished painter, too. He used to be a professional painter, so he was helping the jot. Glenn was helping the jot. I was helping him. We were all exchanging donut smiles, and the 22-pot the, 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 the coffee pot got emptied very quickly. Now, this is something I'm real interested in. I haven't, I don't have the money to do it now, but this is a radar detector that Jose has that's really high-end. And I looked at how his work, I've looked at several other ones, but the problem is, and I don't know if this is even doable on my bikes, because every one you need to be able to, I'm right, I try to ride a different bike every day. Then I go back to the beginning, ride a different bike every day. Sometimes ride a bike two days in a row, but I don't ride the same bike for a month. So I'd have to have a bracket for each bike. I'd have to have wiring for each bike. So I'm I'm going to have to give that some serious thought. How to how to do the installation. But this this radar detector. By the time you buy all the parts, it's about 600 bucks. So for me to equip all seven bikes would be pretty expensive. And uh, well, it's it's something I have to think about how I want to do it now. He's got a Velcro release for all the, the wires and stuff. Really a good way to do it. But again, I don't know if it's going to work for my bike. I don't know or how it's going to work or where it's going to work. But I took pictures of that and he offered to help if I do pick one up. Um, that I basically, uh, he'll help me install it. And of course, he's pretty good with that stuff. And if, if he leads a ride, we always let him turn his radar detector on. That saves everybody in the group. So uh, I'm not sure about this drug rehab for Glenn here, but uh, he's, he's auditioning for Pirates of Penzance here or something. <laughs> anyway, he did some, some nice work today for Luciano. By the time the day ended, we had both of the panels in two coats of yellow. Pretty much ready for the uh, the decals. That'll be another day. And by the way, these are the rings that came out of his Barnett clutch, and I don't know about this. Something the Ducati guys all know, or should know, or will know, or I'm not sure. But I know they make great earrings. So when you take your Barnett clutch apart and you have these extra rings, well, it's no problem. You can just. By the way, this is funny. Check this out. Isn't a jot eyeball that I'm up going. Hmm, those earrings look very good on this boy. <laughs> I think I think I'll get a set for myself. <laughs> anyway, well, anybody that's got a Barnett clutch, there's a set of earrings in there. Don't worry about it. Anyway, Glenn had to go pick up his daughter, and Najat and I hung out for a while and did some uh, some planning of his track bike project. The next day, I do get to work. We'll install the decals. Put the clear on, and uh, Luciano's going to Italy for two weeks, so after this weekend, we probably won't see him again pretty much for uh, the better part of three weeks. And I hope he'll have a really, a really great time, absolutely fabulous time in uh, in Italy, and send us some pictures of, I love, I love Italy, boy. It's on my bucket list. 
and we ended the day just thinking it couldn't have been better. If you look at the thermometer in the back, it was 70 degrees most of the day. The paint dried up beautifully. The bodywork looks like it's going to be perfect. And everybody that uh, attended today's little impromptu session, I think, had a good time. Everybody had something to eat, something to drink, something to paint. And we, f we ended the day with a little scam on Lauren. So, Lauren, this is for you. You said you're going to be here today. And then we get this late email that, uh, you know, you were out late last night and partying with uh, the Beatles or whatever you do. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm hearing bad rumors about you, girl. Bad seafood. Bad seafood, nothing. You should be here sanding. We got work to do here today. This is not a play day. Right, Glenn? Fun, of course, right. Having fun is not a bad rumor. No, it's a you good rumor. Tell Lauren she should be here. She won't get paid today. Yeah, well, no she pay. Get pay. No pay today. Take that picture of her and tear it up. We had yeah, a nice you're, picture you're, of her. Poisoning like or not, you get here. Yeah, that, we're sick doesn't count here. That's right. Well, this is not a government job. You get paid if you don't show up. Sure. 